You're listening to The Man That Can Project with Lockie Stewart, a global movement created to empower men and open up what's really going through their minds by having real and raw conversations about life's unique challenges and our individual ways of processing it all. Welcome to The Man That Can Project. Hey guys, and thank you for tuning in again. I uh, am so excited to see the growth, and I'm very, very excited for a lot of things that are now happening uh, in the Man That Can Projects community. Uh, currently, there's you know obviously massive, massive growth, and for those who haven't seen, the team is uh, phenomenally uh, kitted out to uh, participate in the Push Up Challenge, where we're raising. Uh, funds and awareness for uh, you know Headspace Australia, and also you know mental health, youth mental health in particular, and you know the goal as a as a collective we're going to be doing three hundred or three thousand sorry and forty six push ups over twenty one days. So it works out about one hundred and forty five a day for those of the gents in the team who are going to be doing the the goal individually, and then obviously the rest of the cohort will be uh you know getting it done collectively so it's a cool thing to see and the community is really coming together so if you aren't in the facebook group lads and you want to be in the facebook group search the man that can project or you can find all the links on the uh the instagram pages there and love to have you have you a part of the community that's for sure but once again thank you for for uh listening to these these podcasts and, and sharing it and writing reviews it means a great deal and it you know gives me the or continues to give me the drive uh, to jump on the mic and, and share my own experiences and also interview a great range of our guests as we have been, especially while we're in lockdown in COVID-19 uh, and, and beyond. But just another side note before I sort of dive into this episode, <clears throat> the next breakthrough experience kicks off on May 27th. Okay, so not too far away. And the current one going on has been amazing, amazing group of guys and a lot of uh, cool breakthroughs happening uh, and definitely... You know, confidence is is blowing, blowing, growing, and uh, the mateships are forming. So it's it's phenomenal. But guys, today is once again it's another Lockie's Logic episode, and I really want to talk about you know the emotional rules that we set for ourselves. Okay, it's it's really important for me to talk on this, and it's something that uh, I went through with the guys in the Breakthrough Experience group, and you know, obviously with COVID nineteen happening and understanding what rules we've set ourselves in order to to feel certain ways and you know i think often a lot of us are going through life and myself included i went through this for a long time but i think a lot of you you know may not have the understanding just how much power you have over your mind and just how much power you have over your quality of life and your emotions and your moods right and I really want to give you some tools through this podcast, which I I definitely will. Um, And, uh, you know, don't just listen. Make sure you have a pen and paper and write it down and actively do it because these are all growth opportunities, right? It's great to jump on here and listen and listen to the the podcast. I think, you know, that's phenomenal. But if you really want to change, I mean, you really want to start working on that mind and get yourself to a place where you do feel like you're in control and um, you have more good days and bad days and you do you know, are happy with your quality of life, then keep making sure you do all the exercises that you come across because not everyone's going to be for you, right? That's that's a fucking given. But this one or, you know, any of the other ones that I've spoken about or even ones that are in books or all kinds of stuff, right, could be the one that changes your life. Could be the one that flicks the switch and you go, ah, I get it now. And that that's where, you know, the journey begins because... You know, like most of us, or most of you guys, I was told to read a lot of school. And I didn't do it. I never saw the value in it. And, you know, like for most of you who've heard my journey, the book was the one thing that changed my, my, my story, where I'm at right now. So I think definitely don't undervalue the power of giving things a go in it because it might be that one thing that you need in order to turn one aspect of your life around and I'm fucking pumped and I'm excited for that and I'm excited for you guys to do that but anyway here we are so the emotional rules get your pen and notepad out but the question you want to ask yourself right and you can do this for 
empowering beliefs and disempowering beliefs, right? And you know, empowering I would say are positive ones that ones that make you feel good, enhance your quality of life. Disempowering or negatives are probably the the ones that don't do that, right? They hold you back. They make you feel anxious, or they are. It is anxious, right? You know, th- examples would be anxious, um, feeling like you're a failure, not good enough, sad, and obviously the flip side for the empowering thing would be love, worthy, excitement. You know, all those sorts of things. So I want you to think about now and just just ask yourself a question, even if you want to write down on a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle of the piece of paper on the left-hand side, side right, empowering, on the right-hand side right, disempowering, and just choose five of each, right? And if you don't have five, then, well, Google, Google a couple of emotions and uh, you can start there. And make sure they're emotions that you, you experience personally, not just... Um, because they're the top five on Google. <laughs> That's what I would have used to have done. But let, let's pretend, you know, on the empowering side, you've got love worthy, you know. So the question would be, what has to happen to make you feel love or make you feel loved? Right? And the rule is going to be different for all of us, right? So there is no one size fits all. But the intention of, of doing this, especially you know, during COVID, like uh, worthiness might be a big one because, you know, people are being made redundant. We're not able to catch up with people and our our lives are being thrown, thrown all over the shot, right? So a lot of the ways that many of us or many of you guys, you know, things that happened in order for you to feel a certain way has been taken away. So your emotions may be all over the shot and you don't really know where to start or what to, what to feel, which is completely okay and it's completely normal. But knowing now that you have the ability to change the the rules that you've set for yourself may be a different thing. So let's just look at it like this, right? For for a lot of people, you know, in order to feel worthy, you might, you know, have a rule that you need to be acknowledged whenever you walk into a certain, you know, whether it's a workplace or your home or something like that, that makes you feel worthy. That's a rule that you've set. If that doesn't happen, then you, you can't feel worthy. It's not possible. Right, that might be a rule that you've set. Now, let's think about that. Let's think about that logically. It's definitely, it's you know, it's a great rule. And if it's met, you know, once a week, once a week, you're going to feel worthy. And like I've spoken about before, and I always talk about in the the Facebook group, and also um, with my coaching clients, like the quality of our life really is a ripple effect of where we live emotionally, right? So if we're, you know, we might have a great job, we might have a great relationship, we may have a lot of money. But if we're not feeling worthy, right, if we're living in a state of feeling not good enough, then the quality of our life is exactly that. It's not all the, you know, the great relationship we have around us. It's not the money. It's not the good job. It's the the quality of where you live emotionally. And man, this is why I challenge you to think about this. If there's something missing, the, the inner work has to start. You can't just rely on, if I do this, then I'll feel that way. Right? And, you know, this is why we go back to these emotional rules. You know, you might have said, or like I said, that you need to be acknowledged when you go into a certain venue or workplace or something like that. And, you know, at certain times, people in the workplace may be working as they should be, or they may be on a phone call, they may be talking to another colleague, they may be making a coffee, you know, that stuff's happening, life's happening. And the fact that you have set a rule where you expect everyone to stop what they're doing in order to acknowledge you, does that, how does that sound? Like when you actually think about that, do you think that's achievable? And do you think that is a reasonable standard to set to, in order for you to feel worthy? Like you think about it, everyone has to stop and drop what they're doing. And then you think on the plus side, uh, not the plus side, on the other side as well, if everyone did stop and acknowledge you and greet you when you walked in, how long would it take you to get to your desk? fuck me, you'd be heading towards smoker before you even sat down. So I think something like that, you know, as a, as a rule, and that's just an example, is a bit unrealistic, right? If you have to go through all that. So it's about changing the rule. And in my opinion, guys, you know, I work with men every day, right? Seven days a week. And I have conversations whether they're in person on the phone and I can hear the heartache. I can hear the low self-esteem, the low self-confidence. I can see the pain in the eyes. And I guarantee you, you can see, feel, and hear this with men in your life as well. And 
the crazy thing, but the sad thing is we're not setting ourselves up to win. We're not setting ourselves up to live in an empowered state or in an empowered life. And it breaks my fucking heart right, to see so many men punishing themselves, whether they're aware of it or not, purely because some of the beliefs and standards that they've set for themselves in order to validate a belief that they need to have about themselves. Right? It's ridiculous. So what I want to challenge you guys to do, and what I and if you're in the Man That Can uh, Project Facebook group, I'd love to, you know, for you to write this down and even post your, your results. That would be so fucking cool to see. But what has to happen to make you feel dot 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 and go through and see what rules you've set for uh, you know, let's say five empowering emotions and five disempowering emotions. And then ask yourself if if that's realistic and if that's you know a good standard to have or could you lower it like generally our our disempowering rules are fucking way lower hence why mo- many of us live in a really disempowered state for most of our life and it's not fun is it so maybe could you change your rules around what it takes you know what has to happen in order for you to feel loved and what has to happen in order for you to feel worthy what has to happen in order for you to feel excited what has to happen in order for you to feel fucking good enough? Because gents, you are all good enough. And I know this from every conversation that I have, that behind the pain, the heartache, the low self-esteem, there's a fucking great person in there who has a lot of potential to, you know, to show and offer. But we need to start working within and not worrying about the external stuff first in order to be able to uncover that man to then bring it to the world. Because I know it's there. I've experienced it firsthand. I've coached many men to go through it firsthand. And I've spoken to a lot of you guys who are listening. And if I haven't and you're listening for the first time, please definitely drop me a message on Instagram at Lachlan Stewart or the Man That Can Project. I'd love to, to, to chat to you all. Because I know it's possible for you guys. And I want, my, you know, the goal, and this is just sort of a different way of saying it, is to live for all you guys to live in an empowered emotional state so that the quality of your life and the people that you come into contact with is so much better than it currently is because you fucking deserve it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you got value from this, please share it with someone who you know would also benefit from it or you know, um, post it on your social medias, leave a review, do all that sort of stuff because you know, the more I get to see you're getting value from it, it, it really excites me it's it's almost like a little selfish thing there but you know i love love hearing how it's benefited you guys and impacted you guys and even if you've just got value from listening to my content i'd always love to hear how your lives have been changing as a result of listening to it but like i said guys please continue to share this stuff jump in the facebook group and if you are ready to to take your life to that next level gents definitely i would highly recommend looking at the foundations workshop uh may 27th is the next one but you know, slide into the DMs or jump onto the website to find out more information about ways you can, you know, start working towards being a better version of yourself. You know, taking ownership of your life, building your confidence to be the best version of yourself, and implementing more resilience in your life. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you for listening to the Man That Can Project podcast. My name is Lockie Stewart, and I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to rate and review the Man That Can Project on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest episodes. We'll see you again next time.